So what's up guys? So previously I did a video based on the music that was used in the movie Jaws. Uh, please do check that out. I'll put the links below. So today I'll be reviewing about the scene called The Blue on the Beach. It's the second attack that happened in the movie. And please do bear with me. It's going to be a bit long and a bit boring. Because I'll be starting from the first scene to the end of the scene. But it's just for The Blue on the Beach. So let's get started. So the beginning of the scene where the boy walks up to the mom, uh, the camera shot that was used was called long tracking shot. As you can see, uh, as the boy walks, the camera follows and it also showed the location of the boy which links back to the shark attack. As you know, it was in the beach. It also uh, linked to the shark as it's in the water. Uh, the next scene is where Brody watches the water. The camera shot that was used for this scene is called the medium shot. Uh, it shows the facial expression of Brody and it shows that he is actually really worried that something bad is going to happen. So next up is the scene where you saw the old grandfather with the funky hat that was swimming towards the direction of the lady who was floating on the water. That scene, my friend, is not to be confused with the camera shot called long shot. Uh, the camera shot that was used was actually a point of view shot. I say it's the point of view shot because uh, before they actually showed the scene itself, um, remember that uh, they showed a close-up shot uh, at Bodhi's face and then they showed the, sh the actual shot like as if that uh, we were seeing what Bodhi saw. Next up is the scene where the woman who was playing inside the water and instead of laughing, she actually screamed. One of the house I can't get down to the office and that garbage truck next to the office has got to be So what I need is a... In this scene, I'm pretty sure you thought that an attack was going to happen. But oops, no attack here, my friend. That was just a trick that Steven Spielberg used to intensify the audience feeling. The first thing I just want to point it out that this scene actually gave me a big shock because I thought an attack was going to happen. But then, dang it, I felt for a, another... Steven Spielberg, second false alarm. Anyways, as said, it is a second false alarm used to scare the audience again, or most probably to increase the tension from before. In this scene, it showed two different types of sound, which is one, contrapuntal, and two, diegetic. I say it's contrapuntal because you saw the woman who was screaming when actually she's having fun. So, and usually if you have fun, you usually will laugh. But instead of laughing, she actually screamed. And it's diegetic because you know where the scream came from. The shot that was used is again point of view shot. Because again, it showed a clip of Brody's face for a second. Then it showed the shot of the woman screaming. Keep in mind that police chief Brody was actually alerted by the scream. And that it showed that he was extra worried. As the events that keep on happening kept on reminding him of a shark attack. Next up is the scene where a group of boys is rushing into the water while splashing. In this scene, the director has used the camera shot called long angle shot. And its effect to the audience is that it tells the audience where the subject is. And what is the relationship between the subject and the characters. Also, what is the relationship between the subject and the setting itself. The sound splashing um, is diegetic because you know where the splashing comes from. About the actions, generally splashing actions attract sharks and keeping in mind that there is a shark in the water and that is basically our first clue of the upcoming event. The scene also shows the boy on the yellow lilo and the camera shot they had used has given the effect of making him look vulnerable and that's like giving us the hint of the targets for the shark second attack. After a while, the scene of legs kicking or paddling underwater comes. It 
You can hear the same music background was used as before, and again the music builds up to slowly and officially tense up the upcoming event in this scene, and it's obviously showing us that a second shark attack is going to happen. Well, other than stating the obvious, the two shots that were used in the scene is one point of view shot, which was the shark's eyes, and the effect of this shot is that it allows the audience to feel like you are in the movie and you are the subject itself. And two, the legs kicking um, is low angle shot. The low angle shot lets us know that these people are vulnerable, but the most important is the boy where the sharks get closer and closer until the attack has happened and the background music itself is non-diegetic. Alright guys, hold on a bit more. We have three more scenes to go. Three more, just hold on and everything will be over soon, okay? Afterwards, it shows a crowd of people seeing the attack from a distance. The camera shot that was used in this scene is called long angle shot. And in this scene, it shows that there is danger in the water and it makes the audience panic. Afterwards, Chief Bree then realizes what was going on. And the camera shot immediately became a zoom shot and a close up shot. The music that was used when they zoom in Birdie's face is non diegetic and parallel. Steve Spielberg inserts the sound effect of a high pitched sound building up and then it focuses at Chief Birdie's face to show that he is vulnerable and genuinely to show his facial expression while the music intensifies the scene itself. Alright guys, we are finally at the ending of the scene where the yellow light door washes up into the shore. And in this scene, as you can see, they used the zoom shot and it was completely silenced except for the sound of the water. This clearly states that the attack is over and the boy didn't survive the attack. The silence used was to release tension of the audience after the tension created by the attack. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video and watch out for my next video. Until then, goodbye!